You know I try to be a good man I always give it my best But truth be told, someday I want to go to the wild, wild west And now, live from our Smokehouse studio, it's time for Real Estate Jerky. All your real estate questions answered by our provocatively lean expert hosts, Edward Ed Parco, MBA, veteran and president of Lending for Living. We'll give you something to chew on. Real Estate Jerky is on now. Thanks for joining us here on Real Estate Jerky. I'm your host, Ed Parco, president of Lending for Living, along with Marlene Chaplin, my trusty sidekick and co-host. We are on the road keeping things real and relevant throughout Stanislaus, San Joaquin, Merced counties, and into the foothills. You know, our studios, anywhere we have a solid Wi-Fi connection and our fabulous engineer, Mike Murray, and the incredible radio signal of iHeartMedia and this station, KFIV. We always bring you something to chew on here at Real Estate Jerky. And the topic of the day is always around real estate, investing in our communities, and whatever extends on that. Or gets in the way of, of it, I guess you should say. And, you know, let's get moving on this. If you have questions, you can call us at 209-404-1915 or email us at Radio Real Estate Jerky. How are you doing today, Marlene? I'm not going to say happy Valentine's Day because, well. That's uh, not you're so not my Valentine, not it. That's yeah. Marsha's job. And so, um, and neither of us could uh, use another helping of chocolate. Well, actually, oh, you're doing hurts. real. You're doing really good. Uh, I, I was, uh, I was, but lately nah, you are under the weather. I, yeah, but I, you're I, doing like, really good. You're doing really good. In fact, um, um, I was like, not that I, I mean, you're a big guy, but you, yeah, you're slimmed way down. Um, hey, so this weekend, is it flowers, dinner? What are you doing? It's a secret. Oh, <laughs> I like it. The, the, show airs at, the show airs at 12 to one. Yeah, it does. On Saturdays that, and 10 to it. 11 or 10 to something on Sundays. Oh, right? so it's a two but day it's super, event. You know, it's Super Bowl this weekend. So we're going to, you know, what, what are you doing this weekend? Who, me? Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually, um, I've got um, my daughter-in-law and grandchildren from Clovis are coming up because uh, they have a soccer at the fabulous soccer field. Mm-hmm. Speaking of mm-hmm. soccer, you were talking about, was that Sierra or was that Rochea Rache- that you were talking about that? did this the, the butterfly thing <laughs> that was sydney oh it was sydney, sydney. <laughs> yeah i mean yeah, she, anyway, sydney was so- amazing out of all the kids blake was amazing soccer player like attack things right the problem is he had no self they always said he had didn't care about his safety when, when the ball was in play he oh, just yeah. went for it right sydney was the more skilled player roche always wanted to be that but that would mean you have to put in practice and you know, <laughs> well, she was I'm good going, in the beginning, but then as you get older, you're supposed to keep practicing and doing more ball tr- yeah, control and stuff. Yes, and they just yes, didn't want to do that. Yes, yes. When somebody talks about what they want to do or their big dream, I always think, mm-hmm. we'll see how much you're willing to sacrifice. But so that's my weekend. I am. Um, I took you that. away from Valentine's Day. I know you had this whole thing about Valentine's Day. I, I did. I'm Valentining <laughs> because I, I don't. Um, Valentine's used to be a big deal um, in our household, but it's not so much. But it was. I do with the grandkids. Um, and so that's made it fun. I'm, I'm having new Valentine's, but the thing that cracks me up about Valentine's is, uh, this year, especially is the price of things. Cause like I said, I've got, you know, I've got 10 grandkids and I get a little something for them all. I was stunned flowers. I even was looking at, not that I get any of them that I just was noticing and Holy crap, Ed. Can you say that on there? Uh, maybe I hope so. Um, <laughs> I was I, I was stunned. I was stunned how much even the Costco DIY flowers oh, bunches everything's are everything's up. up. Everything, yeah, up. way up. I mean, yeah. like way up. 20, way up. 20 bucks Costco. I mean, last time I bought a bunch of flowers there, that I think I paid ten bucks. Right. And depending on which bunch you look at, you're paying. 15, 16, 20 dollars. I mean, that's a screaming deal, but still it's well, way you, up. Way you up. Remember those little chalk hearts that you'd get in you know, those little hearts that are like uh I forget what they're called, but they taste like chalk, right? They break in what those hard can not hard, hard candy, but the little box. Oh, oh, the message ones. The ones yeah, that have yeah, the little yeah. messages on yeah. them, they taste they, like chalk. I like yeah. those. To keep them under the 99 cents, they had to only put six in it now. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, I was like, wait, 
So, so be mine. You're going to get six B mines or. <laughs> it's hey, extra you're for all the other, cause they can't afford it. Now it's no longer 99 cents. It's a dollar 89. Yeah. You're getting six in there. That's pretty good. Good job, man. That was funny. You're listening to real estate Turkey here on power talk 1360 with our KFIV. Yes. In case you didn't know the calls here um, with our host, Ed Parco, MBA veteran and president of lending for living. If you'd like to reach out to Ed, we are going to talk about real estate and a bunch of other stuff today. Um, reach out at 209-404-1915. That's 209-404-1915. Or you can email us at radio at real estate And uh, yeah, thanks for those of you that have been calling in always and messaging and all that. We appreciate it a lot. And today's probably going to be full of those. So um, Valentine's Day. Uh, if you're Catholic, then you know these things. If you're not, then here you go. It's there's three different saints that uh, Valentine's could be about. One in particular, my favorite, is uh, the one that was um, saving, uh, doing marriages because Claudius, the emperor of Rome, had forbidden soldiers to marry, and so this priest was doing secret marriages. They ended up beheading him for it. And his name was Valentine. Oh, really? So that's one. That's my favorite. There's actually three. Which one's cool. Saint? Which one's Saint Marketing? Saint Marketing. <laughs> that would be. Uh, he would be Hall Valentinus Marcus. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people think that's all this is is a marketing ploy to get you to buy flowers actually, and candies been, and chocolates. Yeah. No, you know what? They've been since the Middle Ages. This has been. Uh, um, there's different theories, but it's seriously, it's been since the middle ages. This is not news. It's one of the first like card type holidays ever. And that was back in like the 1500s. The first marketed Valentine's cards are like from the 1600s. It's crazy. You know what it happens right before Valentine's day, right? No, what? Everybody breaks up. Oh, <laughs> There's, I know some guys who used to break up right before so they didn't have to spend any money. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm I'm spoiled. I was spoiled. Maybe that's why I like it. Thank you. Well, no, I my, you Alan, know, Alan, when I was I was a teenager. He sent me a dozen roses. I mean, I I was a, a baby. Well, that's different. He probably cared about you. I'm just saying that these people are dating who <laughs> don't really care. They're gonna break up because oh my gosh, I gotta spend what on this holiday? So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so flowers. Uh, all the all the florists, all the florists have reported that their hard goods prices are up. Are you ready? A minimum of sixty percent. No, I believe it. No, I believe it. I 60%. Believe it. And that's I, before everybody turn uh, tunes us off. This isn't a show about Valentine's Day. This is a show about costs. So don't turn mm-hmm. us off. Stay here. We're going to have a bunch of stuff <laughs> talking about what's going on out there in, in the real estate industry, cost for goods, for building, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm and, just putting it out there. Price, in case people is, it price us gou- is that <laughs> price gouging or are there real shortages? And we've got a secret weapon since you can't both. share about Valentine's. We have our guest as our secret weapon who tells us, keeps us in the know on the things that really are shortages. And that's in the building industry. So I'm excited to bring him on. Um, Ed, you called in a favor to get him to come on. Did I ever? It's going to cost me a lot. (laughs) Uh, Because he's just, he just knows this stuff and it's been, uh, and we're spoiled. So we're going to spoil our audience. Yeah. 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 So you're not going to tell what Marsh is getting for Valentine's. No, no. Cause she's not getting anything. So (laughs) there's nothing to tell. (laughs) Ah, I don't believe that for a second. Um, no, I don't believe. No, we're I don't gonna, believe you know, you. we're gonna have our we're gonna have a dinner at home, and you know, we'll probably have steak you. and lobster and all that fun ooh, stuff. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. ooh, yeah. yeah. So, so, um, top five gifts Valentine's. Do you know? Uh, probably Victoria's Secret, something like that. Uh, sleepwear is one. Yep. Um, actually, here's another shock. Victoria's Secret has been displaced as the number one sleepwear women's underwear. Are you ready? I believe. I believe it been displaced by a lot they're mm-hmm. not even in the top 10 anymore i was shocked i'm not i was i was shocked <laughs> I was they shocked. changed their whole marketing boy so. yeah so uh the number one Snicker is third bars. love third love there for a while on sirius xm you could hear them 
every commercial break. Well, maybe I was the right demo what I was listening to, but um, Third Love was number one. Uh, number two was Me Undies. Number three is Quince. Number four is J. Crew. Hmm. Believe it or not, for women's underwear, I was surprised. Uh, and a company called Airy. I didn't even know about them. But how often do I buy Kinds jammies? Airy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, flowers are the number one thing. Uh, spa. And the spas and spas, that's, uh, or an at home. I don't know. How do you do this for Val? Oh, wait. Duh. I'm not going to say that again because you're going to make fun of me. Forget it. Oh, I didn't stop. I didn't start to say it. I didn't. <laughs> spa experience. That's one of there them. You go. Um, yeah. Cooking or out to dinner. Yeah. yeah. DIY. So you're doing a DIY dinner? That's correct. Maybe. Because yeah. no yeah. one makes steaks like I do. So <sighs> I'm just, that's Dude. a promise. When you cook real well, you know, I, I do things real well because I want it to come out really well. Right. I mean, that's how mm. I do it. Radio, we do real well on our radio. We do other stuff real well. <laughs> so, I mean, so basically when I go out to dinner and someone cooks my steak and they don't cook it right, it's like, why do I want to have steak when I go out when I know how to cook it? I have sensors mm. that tell me when it's done exactly perfect timing. Yeah. Let it rest yeah. and eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Next. I was thinking about what I want to do for dinner. I'm not sure. Hank's maybe food fix or a rip and roadhouse or yeah, food fix Chow's. is really good, but be careful down there because you'll go down there too much. And they'll know your order <laughs> when you walk in. I'm not saying anything, but they might know that. At, at where? At Ripon? No, Hanks? at the food fix. Oh, Hank. Yeah, he does. It's walking yeah, it's distance a, from my office. So. Oh, it's, yeah, it's so good. It's all, yeah. All right, ciao, ciao, Bella's too. He's take us the same break. Way. We're past our point. Okay, we have to go. Oh, gosh, we're talking food. Uh, boo, stop. Who? I was happy. I was happy for a minute talking about food. Hey, it seems like everything um the cost more and that's because it does so are the things they keep telling us really true are there really that many shortages are there less cows and chickens or grain or what or is it a workforce issue i mean really what's going on is it the supply side or price gouging or a little of both well our next guest is going to give us another perspective from a very comprehensive industry building and repairs so if you have questions or comments you need to dial our host ed parco at 209-404-1915 or email us at radio at real jerky.com this is your chance to declare spend or spare when it comes to buying things right now with the inflation the way it is so don't go away Welcome back. I'm Marlene Champlin, sidekick to our host, Ed Parco, here at Real Estate Jerky on Power Talk 1360 KFIV, where we always give you something to chew on. If you've got questions for Ed, just dial him up at 209-404-1915. That's 209-404-1915. You can text him too, or visit lendingforliving.com. Um, before we bring our guest on, I need to preface the interview with this. He really doesn't want your business. So we won't be giving his contact info out. And if you happen to be a building material retailer that doesn't already know our friend Mark or about Village Supply Incorporated, well, all I can say is sorry for you. Um, no, <laughs> Mark's going to kill me. Actually, he, he does want your business if you are a retailer, um, but if you if they're not open to the public. So, um, but what he does and, it, and knows is amazing. And that's actually why we've got him on today um, because it's a favor to Ed. Uh, to discuss what's really going on out in the marketplace. Are the shortages real? Um, so without further ado, our friend and decades long member of the supply side of the building industry, Mark Henry, vice president of Village Supply Incorporated. Welcome, Mark. Don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for the introduction. It's great. I appreciate it. Yeah, my name is Mark Henry, uh, Village Supply, uh, Hostel Distribution. Um, Crazy to think I started doing this for beer money and uh, 35 years later, I'm still in the industry. So I worked retail for 27 years and been in wholesale the last eight. So yeah, thank you. Hey, Mark, thanks for coming on today. We really appreciate you coming on to kind of give the background of, so they understand what's going on out there. Um, what's a Kauai, is there really cost in the building industry changing what that is? Because you and I talked last night a little bit before, you know, today, and you were telling me how much certain things have gone up. But before we get into that part, I mean, everything's going up. I mean, McDonald's now is paying their people to start 16 something an hour. 
Um, the minimum wage in California is going up to $15 an hour. I'm not saying that's a livable wage, but minimum wage was never supposed to be a livable wage. It was supposed to get you through high school. Um, but you know, <laughs> that's how I look at things, but it's a little different. So how is, you know, we keep hearing costs are up, costs are up. We heard the board feet originally during the pandemic went from like $256 up to $1,200 board, you know, 1000 board feet. What's really going on? Well, it's supply and demand. Basically, when, when the pandemic hit, uh, you know, everybody decided that they wanted to stay home and uh, work on projects and stuff, you know, and for us, I don't sell lumber. Um, I, we do broker a little bit of that, but but a little bit of the brokering I do like particle board. I'll talk about that. You know, some particle board we did sell when the pandemic hit. Our customer was paying about nine sixty dollars a sheet. Today, he's paying over $16 a sheet. You know, it's basically because one, uh, the main particle board uh, mills have closed. Um, but for us, um, basically it's been a lot of the issues have been the resin, silicone, resin, um, yeah, the N95, 8511s. So, cause you told me that silicon, you just got an increase yeah. in 70% or something like that. We did. Yeah. We actually got an email last night and I, I shared that with Ed and it's kind of crazy. Cause you know, the 2020 I'm looking at, uh, uh, from DAP, uh, that sent us an email last night, 2020 silicone metal industry sources, Special, it takes special metals are used to make silicone. 69.3% of it comes from China. And it's sad to say only 4.3% comes from the USA. Brazil's got some, Norway and others about 9.9. In order to get that, you, you know, the silicone has to make the silicone product. So if you got a project going on, buy some silicone now because coming up in a couple of weeks, you're going to see prices when you normally pay $4, you're going to pay seven, eight, nine dollars a tube. Wow. That because wow. I mean, on a house when they're building a house, how much silicone do you think they use? Well, you use it for all your installations, all your windows. Um, you use now you, you it's uh, subfloor adhesive is another product that's hard to get right now. You cannot find subfloor adhesives. PPG is so far backed up because of the resin trying to get the resin for the product. You're not able to get it. We get customers every day. Some of the really big uh, customers that are trying to find the product and you can't find it. We were able to secure a little bit, the smaller tubes, but you can't find any large tubes, construct subfloor adhesive it, out there. If you can call me, I'll buy it. So <laughs> what is the whole, is that because it can't get the products from China to make it or what is the issue? That, that's a lot of the issue trying to get the silicone to make it, you know, and when you do, when you do get it, it's you're taking uh, um, the POs that you've had probably from a couple of years ago, which we have some POs a couple of years ago that basically um, they're canceling. They're canceling POs. I got a PO from rust -Oleum, which we had some POs on back order for a year and a half. They cancel our POs and we have to order fresh. And But they don't have the product to do it because you got the cans, the metal cans for it. Um, it's just trying to get the trying to get the product to manufacturers. One, there's not enough manufacturers in our country. We need to get more manufacturers in our country. Ooh, you're listening to Real Estate Jerky here on Power Talk 1360 KFIV, and we are talking to today's guest, Mark Henry, Vice President of Village Supply Incorporated. And as we said earlier, Village Supply is not open to the public. He's strictly a uh, wholesale, but because he's such a smart guy and knows these supply side things, that's why he's on today. And we're grateful. He's helping us understand what's really going on with uh, pricing right now and what's going on in the market and folks, what's going to happen. So if you've got questions, please reach out to our amazing host, Ed Parco at 209-404-1915. Let's get back to it. So um, Mark, so I'm hearing all this stuff, uh, resin, silicone, um, and it's triples and, and you're telling us that's huge part of the building industry. I keep thinking, and China is the reason we don't have the supply, but wasn't this stuff originally made, invented and made here in the U S unfortunately, yes. And then basically, um, labor costs are cheaper, you know, unfortunately, there uh, and the control, you know, I just got another email from DAP. Silicone's 300% surge. There's another price shock at the world. You know, that was, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's, yes, how do you get it? Um, the highest price of silicone is 95% is increased. This is, this is crazy. You know, it shouldn't be like that, but it's, it's not just that. It's all products. You know, I, I did an analysis because I know Marlene sent me a few things, kind of top 10 selling items. 
you know, and I did it from 2020 to 2022. So I'll just address 2022. And we sell a lot of tape, believe it or not. Um, we sell a lot of tape. We have it. We have access to it. Why? It's made in USA. 3M products. We, um, we buy a lot of 3M products and we have it in tape. 8511s, which is the face mask, you know, the heavy duty face mask and stuff. We do buy a lot of that. Um, but the price went from basically our cost, about $9 up to, you know, you're going to pay $13, $14 over just a two year span, um, supply and demand. It's just, you know, and believe it or not, water. We sell a lot of water. Crystal guys are water because people are at home. They're drinking water, construction sites, because you can't have everybody drinking out of a five gallon jug on a construction site. You got to have a bottle of water and you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know, but is that the COVID thing. It's a COVID thing. And, and also there was a shortage. Well, what was the shortage? The caps, trying to get the caps, the bottles. You can't get the caps, you got to put the caps on. So we went from like a, a 10 day turnaround to now you're like three to four weeks for truckloads of water. And it's crazy that, um, yeah, it, it's, it just blows my mind. It's just everything in plastic, you know, piping, you know, it's one of our top 10 items, you know, and the pricing on since in COVID, this is, this will shock you guys, the world. I'd pay about $11,000 for a truckload of pipe. Then in 2021, I paid 42 and then I paid oh. 58,000. So if you're oh. a landscaper, if you're construction, you're, you're going to be paying more and, and, and people don't get mad at the suppliers, man. It's not their fault. You know, they're trying to do their best they can and stuff. And the, the person waiting on you, be nice to them, man. It's not their fault that they're out of stock or something, you know, be nice to them. So the PVC pipe you're talking about, right? That's what you're talking yes, about. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm jumping around. I'm I sorry. I want to make sure people understand where I understood, but I want to make sure our listeners understand what we're talking yeah. about. Um, so that wow. went, uh, that's so the first from 20 to 2021 that like doubled, almost tripled, right? Okay. Correct. Yeah, it did. It did triple. Yeah, absolutely. It tripled, you know, wow. and then uh, went up another 50% then following. Correct. Year. Correct. And correct. this and is it's, again, supply and demand so there's less well, supply and people are demanding it or is it just yeah well you can't make it here in california or united states the pvc piping issue happened in texas remember the freezing that went on in texas mm -hmm. and it kind of delayed everything that was a lot of the issue because you couldn't get pipe i mean and it's still a, an issue they haven't really fully recovered from it and um genova which is a one big company and they actually uh, decided to go out of business no none of the family members wanted to take it over so someone bought them out and so then it had to go to another company psp bought them out and you know it's texas it's everything's coming out of texas the, the piping and stuff we're able to get it we, we do a lot of three and four inch pipe not really the small stuff um it's more for the foundations and, and for the um uh, commercial applications and stuff but the problem was it all states back to Texas whenever they had that freeze and you're, we're still trying to recover from that. And wasn't there a glue issue because of the freeze too? Yes. Yes. What was that issue? Cause I don't think everybody understands that. Well, it's just, you couldn't get it. You know, the part was of the they, problem was it because frozen or something it happened. Was, yeah. It yeah. It was, it was, you're right. It was frozen because of the uh, demand and, um, or in Texas when they issued, they had it. Yeah. And it, right. The ice freeze that they had, you know, mother nature, you know, what can you do? you know all right so how do you how do you deal with a subfloor if you can't get what you need to put it down well there is some product out there that is recommended you know it's strictly if you buy a tube of caulking you'll see it's a subfloor on it um and you you're supposed to use that but now there's some product out there that liquid nails that you can use that actually says for subfloor on the documents you just got to get the inspector to um believe believe that um and make sure that's true you got to believe expect. it you know, it says that's it on the tube. The I know. You can get I, the inspector yeah. out, right? Yeah, that's true. Get the inspector that's true. out. That's true. Yeah. So before and, we, go, you know, we got to go to break. But before we go, so what does this mean? That means less houses are going to be completed because there's less stuff to finish those houses. So that means we're not going to come out of this whole issue we have with housing right now, where we need to build two million homes a year for a decade to get caught up. We can't even get to 1.1 million, and if we keep having the supply sides issue, we're never going to get there. Okay, really, really, really expensive. Everything is right now. Is it price gouging, shortages, staffing issues, and the new minimum wages in California? Or is it a little bit of all of it? Um, it's, is there a way around it? Well, what can we do? 
Um, our friend and guest, Mark Henry, Vice President of Village Supply Incorporated, is a major supplier to the retailers that serve the building industry. He's going to continue to give us another perspective. So if you have questions or comments, please dial at it, 209-404-1915. That's 209-404-1915. Or email us at radio at realestatejerky.com. The Insider's Insider. Take on the economy and economic supplies. We'll be right back. This is Real Estate Jerky on Power Talk 1360 KFIV. I'm Marlene Champlin, sidekick to our amazing host, Ed Parco, MBA, veteran, mortgage guru, and president of Lending for Living. Picking up where we left off with our guest, the insider's insider on economic supplies and what's going on, Mark Henry, vice president of Village Supply Incorporated. So Mark, it's a, it's dismal when we listen to you about, you know, supplies and it's, it's, you know, we feel like it's price gouging. Why are they doing this shortages? But what you're telling us is it's real. It's real. They're real. It's a combination of we've had, we've been outsourcing our manufacturing in this country for decades to where yeah. for building supplies, Mark, where? Uh, well, basically the, the uh, uh -oh. China, no way. you there? Yeah. Okay, sorry. China, there you are. China, you know, China, Mexico, because um, cost of labor is cheaper. It's sad. You know, and um, there are some things coming back. I mean, some, you are, we are seeing uh, some products coming back into the products, you know, with the pandemic happening, you know, and of course with the CDC saying, you know, N95s are the, the thing to use. You got to be in N95s. You know, one of our top selling items this year was KN95s. And you know, we sold a lot of them along with 8511s, which where is those made? China, because it's a KN, for, it's a Chinese version, you know, um, but it's what the CDC is recommending, you know, also the, uh, you know, the 8511s. So we are being, uh, seeing some of that product coming back. Gloves, as you know, nitro gloves were almost impossible to get. We're able to get those now, but you're going to pay more for them. When you're paying 1099 a box, you're going to be paying 22, $23 a box. You know, the price is, is some of it price gouging? Some companies, yes. Um, and I'm going to put them on the spot here. You know, I health those, um, uh, home kits, COVID kits. We had a customer of ours that wanted some, wanted to buy some on Monday, they were 1398 a box for two on Tuesday. They were 1998 a box after the CDC recommended you, you got it, you know, home kits for everybody. How is that right? And, and one day, you know, and of course there was rising costs and stuff over one day. I call it BS, um, but unfortunately we had to buy it. We'd take our client, you know, we spent $10,000 on COVID kits, um, which was, which is insane. Now we don't normally stock it. You know, we had to be, get out and be inventive when we couldn't get products and try and, unfortunately we had to buy products. You know, we don't buy anything personally overseas. Our, our vendors do other than, other than Mexico, which we do buy landscaping products from. Well, that's close. Wow. I know <laughs> it is close. It's, 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 I mean, our, uh, it's now, a good manufacturer. Now are, is a lot of this issue because we still have the containers offshore and they can't, yes. you know, so what they did is instead of actually saying, Oh, it's getting better there. No, what they did is they pushed them further out the sea. So you couldn't see them. And then they're still trying to get them unloaded with, they don't have enough truckers. They don't have enough anything. So is that still part of the issue or is it even more than that? And, and I know I asked two questions here and I'll multiple right, one. Right. What do you see going forward? So. Okay. Yes. That's part of the issue. One, I would not want to live in long beach by the ports right now. Um, if you've ever seen videos of that, you know, to try and get it, it's just, it's just, it's insane. Um, there is a still, it's getting better, but as I say, they're redirecting at some of the ports to, uh, I think, uh, uh, Mississippi and New Orleans, and then trying to, you know, get it from LA, you know, I, we were in Stockton not too long ago. They should, unfortunately the channel's really long, but it, they should use our stock report. Maybe it would help us out too. Uh, is it getting better? Yes. When is it going to get better, man? If you had a crystal ball, you could tell me that, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't see it really. Uh, 2023, sad to say. I mean, here we are in February. Um, we always pray it'll get better. Um, and then we get hit things like this, you know, 70% increase in silicone. Um, so yeah, it's, it's hard to call. It really is. Some products um, we did see a little decrease in, believe it or not. But for most products, we're, we're getting price updates every day. And unfortunately, we can't. When we hear a price update, we buy. We buy before the price update and 
you know, we spent a lot of cash and then I panicked because I'm kind of the chief financial officer also. You're welcome, Marlene. <laughs> uh, and um, it's, you know, I look and I, and I talk with our president of the company. We have meetings weekly and we're talking about, hey, man, you're spending way too much cash, but hey, the price updates, you know, and so we're fortunate, we're blessed, we have it. Um, and, uh, but it's, it's, it's ugly, but it's, it's, it is getting better. I mean, it's getting better. Um, business is, is great. You know, everything is building, but the problem is, is that when you get to a point, you need something, you don't have it. You're Sorry. listening to real estate jerky. <laughs> no, it's good. You're listening to real estate jerky here on power talk, 1360 KFIV with today's guest, Mark Henry, vice president of village supply incorporated. And as I, we've been saying, village supply incorporated is not open to the public. So we're not giving out their contact information. However, if you are a retailer of building supply products and you would like to, you definitely give that a call and he'll uh, share Mark's number. And we are, we are, happy to make that introduction that you should have had years ago. Uh, you can reach out to Ed uh, at 209-404-1915. That's 209-404-1915. Or email us at radio at realestateturkey.com. Visit lendingforliving.com. Um, and let's get back to Mark. So there's parts that are getting better. You know, one of the things that I was curious about, uh, Mark, as a marketing and advertising person is, was there any companies out there during this pandemic that you went, wow, they did an amazing job of moving through this and really, and really adjusted quickly. Or did everybody fail? <laughs> it was a CF. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no. I, you know, it was funny because I talked to one of my managers yesterday before I left last night, and I was asking him. I walked in his office, and he does a lot of perching for us. I said, "Okay, all right." And he's a younger kid; he's in his mid twenties. And I said, "All right, is there one company?" that we've dealt with the last couple of years that really jumped out at you and, and really was over the top. And he looked at, it, he goes, no. And he couldn't, you know, and it's sad. It's, it's not, it's not, but for us as a company, you know, we were one of the only few companies that still were out seeing our clients. Um, we were literally um, visiting our clients. We were there. Um, our, our president of the company is on the road 95% of the time. And, you know, for us, and people remember that and, and it's, it's, it's paying us back because they said, Hey, village supply was there for them again, for the, for the retailers, because, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta support your staff. You gotta support um, your customers and you gotta help them out. You gotta find ways to buy things. I mean, there's times when I had to buy things from some of our competitors just to take care of our client. And we'll do that. Uh, we'll take a loss just to help our clients out. Not too many losses though. Right. But that's what you do. Cause that's business. Correct. When you own a business, run a business, you do what's best for your customers not always what's best for you. Um, have any of the companies that you guys dealt with moved out of, you know, from one state to Texas or for, you know, somewhere else recently that you've been dealing with? Cause a lot of people moved out of California. There's 1200 people moving to Florida a day. If you can believe that. Um, right. Any, anybody that you know of? You know, all of our companies pretty much um, that we dealt with, the, you know, the customers in the company in Mexico, we only deal with one company in Mexico, they were in Mexico. Um, most of the companies that we deal with are in, in the South. So they were uh, um, there. California, we have a, just a couple customers we deal with there in California. But no, uh, pretty much where we dealt with, that's where they landed. Um, Texas is quite a bit. Uh, Nevada. Um, we did have a couple of trucking companies that, that we uh, that moved to some offices out of California and Nevada because of the laws. But unfortunately, they come back, they still have to you know, be carb compliant. So, uh, right. Yeah. Well, just amazing what's going on out there, you know? So Marlene, do you have to, any, anything else? I'm not trying to get rid of, I'm just saying, I want to make sure I'm including you uh, in this besides the break. Good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I just, you know, I mean, that thing that we'll ask on the, on the outside and you've been saying it, which is silicone is the latest, but I mean, are there any other products like that, Mark, that, um, as like a kind of insider tip, you know, like don't buy plastic or, or stock up on deaf or, you know, and yeah. Just, well, yeah, yeah. Black, you know, side tips. And we do sell deaf, you know, we do, we do sell quite a bit of deaf and it's, it's crazy because as you know, if you own a diesel vehicle or if you drive, you know, fuel prices go up, fuel prices go down when it, right before they go up, our reps tell us, Hey, price increase, we'll buy, you know? So, um, no, don't, you don't need to stock up in deaf. There's a lot of deaf out there. Um, and it's crazy because we have a cus customer in Washington. Apparently not. Let me back up here real quick. Uh, he cannot find deft anywhere. So he's having to go to Home Depot and buy it and sell it to his customers, which is crazy. So we're shipping it here from our California location, 
shipping him pallets of death and he's actually saving money and able to take care of his clients. Um, so some locations, yes. Um, and labor market, um, you know, the problem is, is we're fortunate for us. We're a small company, 15 employees that um, we didn't have a major issue. We had one person um, who basically was on vacation and, you know, testing positive while he was on vacation. So he was out. We had another person who was on tested. So, but we're fortunate enough that we, we have people in diverse roles that can do that. A, a lot of our customers, we've had some customers that um, literally were down to two and three people in their store. Um, they literally, because of COVID, they were wiped out. They couldn't have anything. We had other customers that literally you had to make an appointment to go buy some, figure that out. Go, you got to make an appointment to go buy some, you know, who's going to do that. You know, I do know a local company here in town that literally was working with three employees. It's a family owned company. All three members were the only three people that weren't sick, weren't COVID. Everybody was out with COVID. So it is affecting it, unfortunately, you know, and, um, you know, you do try and get some good help, but then again, you, you know, Mother nature has its own way. You just gotta be smart about it. You just gotta, you know, uh, business environment. Our, uh, our business environment, you know, um, I don't elaborate on that. What do you want to talk about business environment? I guess. That's a note for, uh, <laughs> that's, that's not for you. Those are my notes, but oh, yeah, all right. after you're going to mention throwing them up there, I'm like, sorry, good. this is amazing. Mark's amazing. We just keep going. <laughs> sorry, Ed. Uh, no, it's perfect. I was like, Hey, he's answering them. I don't have to ask him. Our producer engineer, Mike Murray, who we, Hi, Mike. we absolutely give kudos to every time he helps us when we go on the rabbit trail or okay. things in a different way. And right. Mark, business environment, you, you're talking to um, people who are running the country, really. So it's not the politicians. It's the folks that actually build the stuff. What's the environment like as far as they're concerned? I mean, are they hopeful or is everybody starting to be tired from this? we're all tired from it. You know, we, uh, you know, there's times when we're up in our office for, you know, eight, nine o'clock at night, trying to find product for people, you know, as a business owner, you just get frustrated, you try and, and the trickle down effect, you know, why can't you get this product? Well, you know, if you're not in our business, you don't understand it. So, you know, one thing I can say, um, if you're working on a project or there's anything you may need, buy it now. Get your product, buy the things. If not, wait. If you're going to start a major construction product, I know me and Ed's talked about this a couple of times. I'd wait a little bit, honestly. Um, lover prices have dipped, but you know it's um, you know if you're doing a major project and and you're funding it yourself, you know it's going to be more expensive. You're going to pay more for it. But if you're right in the middle of the project, buy the product, get the product bought, get it purchased, have it on the ground. That way, you actually know you, you're going to be able to finish your project product because you may not be able to have it it's kind of like you know when you go to these big box stores like a costco and and you like this one barbecue grill and you want to buy it and it's not there well then go to one of the local stores they'll probably have it so because what you're saying is we talked about i was our house we're building our house and you're like just wait because the prices will come down because it would have cost us 20 percent more that's that's like a hundred you know at least a hundred grand to 200 grand more to build our house if we would have finished been building right. it during this whole time and that's and that's what you're talking about because it's not just the silicone it's i mean the boards are cheaper right but then what about the glue made to make certain yeah, types of boards everything. and certain things that you need and you know there's just i mean a lot of different things metal how's metal i mean is that okay Those uh, no no metal's up but but real quick on my customers we have buy build do everything right now okay it'll help my customers out okay don't 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 stop uh, don't stop building don't stop buying okay i was just thinking i'm on my personal thing okay all right no uh, anyways okay all right i just want to make sure that all my customers all pissed problem. off at me <laughs> no the problem is you need to keep going forward yes. we need to have yeah. these houses built the problem is our you know we're going up 20 percent plus a year um on in certain markets with house yes. prices it's going to get to a point where people are going to, it's going to be unsustainable. Well, no, it'll get to a point where people just can't afford it anymore. Right. And that's what we're going to run into eventually. So, yeah. Metals, anyway. metals up like everything else. Uh, metal. I think I've seen prices up to 30, 40% on some of the metal. Um, if you use steel studs and stuff, I'm fortunate that we built our building in 2020, finished construction in 2021. And it was about a four and a half million dollar project. If we would have done it today, it'd probably been more like six, six million dollar projects. So we were fortunate enough, you know, um, but yeah, you got to keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep living your lives together. Just be smart about it. You know, honestly. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Mark. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thanks. Um, it's not a competition until it is. 
So what happens when a business can't get the products they sell or install? Uh, what kind of innovation is going on out there in the building industry so companies stay in business? Our friend and guest, Mark Henry, Vice President Village Supply Incorporated, major supplier to the retails that serve the building industry, has just given us a boatload to think about. If you have questions or comments, dial our host, Ed Parco, at 209-404-1915. That's 209-404-1915, or email us at radio at realestatejerky.com. Don't go away. Welcome back to Real Estate Jerky here on Power Talk 1360 KFIV, where we always give you something to chew on. And oh boy, is there a lot right now. I'm Marlene Champlin, sidekick to our amazing host, Ed Parco, MBA veteran and president of Lending for Living. Ed, prices of everything are crazy, but the times are, I, it's, it, it's not going to change. It can't. What we're here, what we just heard from Mark Henry, our guest, the supply side of the building industry is up double, triple, every last thing without exception, we just heard from Mark, is the price is way up. So it isn't going to change. Building a house, buying one that exists. So if you, if I mean, what did you just tell me about that you, you're busy, busier than crazy because all of a sudden people that they're renting their houses are going up for sale the, the landlords are selling them right they're trying to they decided hey now is the time to sell this house because the seller's market they can get top dollar they can tell people i'm not going to pay i'm not going to do anything sorry take it or leave it and so it's a great time for them to actually sell their home and so they are the problem is there's still not enough of them and if as what we just found out with the building industry having issues and more expensive and takes longer to get stuff it takes a lot longer to build the homes that we need to get caught up. And that just tells us this is going to keep going out for a while. Um, I think I talked to you before show about certain places and increases in values and certain things, which, you know, we're, what would I say? We're up from December, 2020 to December, 2021, up 18.5% in value, right? That's mm. nationwide. Each wow. region is different, right? Um, Arizona is up 28.4%. Can you imagine that on wow. a, on a, wow. on a $500,000 property, your house just went up 150 grand. Yeah. Six, six, yeah, exactly. Right. Yep. Florida. Oh, that's, they got, I think I said it during the show, they got 1200 people moving there a day. That's a lot. That's from everywhere. Not just California. That's in New York everywhere. So they're up 27.1%. I was talking to a guy yesterday and they bought a condo there pre pandemic right before, right. They Airbnb it three months at a time for almost $28,000 for those three months. They paid 350 for the place. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so wow. there is, yeah. So I'm not uh, saying it might be a little late places, to do that yourself, but yeah. Places high rises. paid for, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't go back. I mean, so there's no, um, but, right. but but it's like any time, any kind of economic. Um, it, it's, I was just thinking, this is like we're at World War one or two where they stopped the whole industry from using metal right they had to come up with plastic for things and change out so the question is what things are going to come out of this going forward yes. because of the shortage that now things are being built with something else right instead right. of what right. it was used to right um that's the question how are we going to be innovative enough to get around the subfloor issues uh, and that kind of stuff how do we figure those things out um one other thing i didn't talk and will say was utah is up 25.2 percent phoenix of Arizona is up 30%, Las Vegas 24, San Diego 22, Miami 18, Denver 18, LA 14.4. That tells you people are leaving, even though they are buying, they're still Washington DC 99.9%. So they're up, but not many people, right? Chicago 8.4%. That seems like they're in the downturn. Well, I think they need to get rid of that mayor, mayor to fix that place. Oh uh, gosh, no kidding. Yeah. So uh, you're listening to Real Estate Jerky here on Power Talk 1360 KFIV with our host, Ed Parco, MBA veteran, mortgage expert, and president of Lending for Living. If you've got questions for Ed, reach out at 209 404 1915. That's 209 404 1915 or visit lendingforliving.com. You can also email us at radio at real estate jerky.com. So, Ed, um, getting these people into a house right now. I mean, so what's you get them pre-approved, 
Right. I mean, that has to happen before they can't even go look because we're still in a complete seller's market where they better be ready to make that offer right then and there. Um, are you still seeing where people are offering much more than what the listing is? Yeah, that's yep. still. Yeah, it's, way, it's still over. Um, I have one right now that was a VA and actually the value is not coming in, which kind of they figured as much as they offered over. But the, luckily this guy is, when he went to, you know, he, this guy was a interpreter for the U.S. forces, came to America, became a citizen, joined the military, joined our military. This is a total, I, you know, I'm an immigrant and I'm going to become, so he became a citizen, joined our military, and then went, went overseas for war for a year. He was just, you know, he went over there and then came back and now he saved all his money while he was over there. He was like, mm. I can't believe people go out and spend all their money in these mm. areas because it's very expensive in Afghanistan and those places with money. He just stayed on base and saved his money. So he's got a lot of money and single guy too. He didn't have the family at home. So he has the extra money. And that's why I always say veterans when they're buying a home, just because they put no money down doesn't mean they don't have the money. So he can make up the difference. And that's what he kind of figured he was going to do. So, and so he's able to do that. Yeah. And that's place. what you're running into. You have, it's hard for people who have no money who saved anything. And now their landlord says you got 60 days to move out because the next rental place is double. Rents are going to go up every time your lease comes due because they have to, because of the new law in California it makes it harder. And again, as I always say, when the government gets involved to help, they always, they usually hurt. <laughs> I went to the Republican thing the other night and uh, that, that one of the quotes they said, and who said this? And that was, uh, the, the Ronald Reagan uh, saying way back when, when he yeah. said the scariest, the top five scariest words, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> yep. And you know what, but, the, what's going on right now? What? Yeah, it's time to go. Oh, man. Show. It's, it was a fast <laughs> hour talking to Mark. I want to thank you for joining us today. And a big thank you to today's guest, Mark Henry, CFO of Village Supply Incorporated. Smart guy on the other side of the building industry, the supply side. If you missed any of today's show, you can find it via podcast, wherever you find your favorite podcast or on the iHeart app via your mobile device. Next week, we'll have a great announcement from the awesome spot playground folks, Chad Kennedy and Craig Harris. We'll continue visiting with more of our candidates for Congress, Senate and Assembly. We're in contact with Tom McClintock, Congressional District 5, Josh Harder, Congressional District 13, Joel Campus for Assembly District 22, Heath Flora, Assembly District 9. Listen, I know one of the reasons our elections have been all over the place is for the lack of knowledge. We're changing that this year, starting with us. We will do our very best to be sure to bring now and until June 7th, who you know that you're, is in your district, what branch, what it encompasses, and who is running. And like I've said before, everybody who's legitimately running in our district is welcome to come on. And if they don't, well, there must be a reason. They don't like Marlene. Please keep a cool <laughs> head. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Please keep Thanks. a cool head and be safe out there. Remember, we're proud to live in this land of opportunity where you can still build personal wealth through home ownership. We'll keep bringing you something to chew on here at Real Estate Jerky. We'll be broadcasting Saturdays at noon and Sundays at 10 a.m. Super Bowl is here. Either way, you can always find the podcast on one of your favorite podcast apps. Like I said before, just search Real Estate Jerky. See you next week, Marlene. Wait, you you didn't say go Bengals. Got things. No, because got... I don't have a like I, I don't have a dog in this. You don't have you don't have really a dog care. in this fight. Well, but they've never had a Super Bowl, right? This is yeah. their first time. Well, I think they maybe they should be a better team. Oh man, what else? So yes, I'll be here next week, and I say go Bengals. Oh, and Ed, hey. Not, nice job filling in for Mike Douglas this week and nice jacket on Fox 40 last week. <laughs> oh, thank you. And uh, actually, I started seeing our commercials coming. So, uh, yay. Again, my, yay. My NMS license number is 235384. We'll talk to you next week. <laughs>